Well, there are, there are several ways to lower the LDL cholesterol. The LDL cholesterol is considered what they call the bad cholesterol. And it's the cholesterol that will actually cling to the artery wall and create something we call plaque. And as plaque develops, it narrows the artery wall. If you want to lower your LDL cholesterol, the first thing you want to do is reduce the amount of saturated fat in the diet. Okay, saturated fat is the fat that is solid at room temperature. It's your butter, it's margarine, it's cheese fat, it's the fat in beef, it's the fat in pork. Um, most animal fats are rich in what we call saturated fat. And then there are some vegetable products that are as well, like coconut has saturated fat. And some nuts have saturated fat. So lowering the saturated fat will automatically cause the liver to reduce the production of the bad cholesterol. So that's step number one. Step number two is to consume foods that actually help absorb cholesterol. For example, oatmeal and dry beans and peas and apples have this, this fiber called soluble fiber. And in the intestine, it actually takes up the cholesterol, takes up the saturated fat, and removes it from the body. And so that's why oatmeal lowers cholesterol. One of the third things you want to do is consume foods that have a substance called sterol or a stanol. And what they do is they act like cholesterol. They go to the site in the intestine where cholesterol is normally absorbed, but they block it so the cholesterol doesn't go in your bloodstream. One example of a product that is loaded in sterols and stanols is Benicol. Benicol is a margarine that's specifically designed to prevent cholesterol from being absorbed into your body. So those are the three, one of the three primary ways of reducing cholesterol.